This guy wearing his fancy stuff and he's wearing a t-shirt. You know, F word, I know that feeling. I know what it's like when my co-commentator only wears a t-shirt. I got you, dog. Just like I got. Do you know how to go frame by frame who has slid in with the donation? Thanks very much. I do know how to go frame by frame. I also know how to tell you guys to shut the fuck up, all right? Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Justin versus NL. Logan looks like an older Josh Hutchinson. You know, I don't know who that is. But as a white... Look, in, look as a white person, I get this often. What I understand about being white is that everybody will say that you look like other white people. At least once a month, I am told that I look like some white person. Sometimes I look like them, and sometimes it's not close. But it's just the burden. You know, it's just the burden of being white. You just have to accept it, that you will be compared to some kind of, you know, H-list celebrity. Actually, H through A-list celebrity. At least once a month. It's guaranteed. You know how many old white people have told me I look like a young Tom Cruise? I'm like, no, I don't. That's all there is to it. The only There's only a few burdens of being white. That's one of them. The second is that when I go to food places, they won't let me order spicy food. They're like, are you sure? I get tagged on Twitter like twice a month. It's like, wow, my friend looks just like you. Just a white guy with like brown hair. Like, wow. It's incredible. Man, that could have been a bigger punish. Well, he escaped anyway. Walk back down, jab. This right here, miss dive kick. This could have been anything else besides standing short. But jump drill was a great option to escape afterwards. You know what's unfortunate is that just by zoning, Justin will give him V trigger. Right? Look at this fierce. Look at the V gauge around here. Something I talked about a lot with Chun Li in season one when she used to hit fierce all the time. Remember when that button was crazy? You just start to guarantee your opponent gets V gauge. Also, I saw you talking shit in the cloud or talking shit in the chat cloud. Keep it down over there. Tip V Dan. Fucking guy. He thinks he's so clever. He plays Goku Black. Thinks he's so good. God damn it, Justin. Your orb control is so whack. He really cannot throw one of the bottom orbs at once. He has to throw both of them. I have no idea why. But he really cannot throw one. <laughs> Just hit heavy kick. <laughs> or hit heavy punch. <laughs> why you hit them together? <laughs> God damn it, Justin. Oh, no. I like that choice. Damn, that was a beast confirm. Counter hit short, down jab, back strong, roundhouse. Damn, 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 damn. Justin, yeah, Justin probably has the best reactive footsies with Minot by a mile, and also probably the worst V-Trigger mix-ups by a mile. But it's so impressive that his ground game is just like, like the thing about Justin is that his ground game is probably like an 11 out of 10, right? Uh, when it comes to keeping people out. Like when it comes to the defensive and whiff punish style, he's like an 11 out of 10, right? That He's just unbelievably good. It doesn't make any sense. But when it comes to V trigger, yeah, obviously that's his weakness. That's such a NL thing to do. He tries me D4 roundhouse, doesn't work. Your negative uppercut. He was too far there to do instant overhead, I think. But I like the V reversal anyway. Oh no, that's like the third or fourth dive kick, you know, it was a mess. Well, he's about to have V-Trigger. V-Trigger is really good for Kami in this matchup. You can use it to activate and whiff punish big buttons like that. Yeah, look at that. NL did the perfect thing here. He just walked up and blocked the Fierce three times in a row just so he could build V-Trigger. See that? 
Now he has V trigger. And now he's got to watch the V trigger dive kick. Man, Justin, how does he land so many? Oh, that was a good try. That was a beast confirm. He tried the air to air it. That was a great choice. But yeah, it just didn't work out. Justin almost brought that round back entirely with heavy punches. Wow. Entirely with heavy punches. Do do do. Jump roundhouse is sort of slow, but it's disjointed, right? So, like the orb just kicks out there and it reaches really far. So it's generally a great air to air. This is a great bait. I like this as an opening round gambit. Jump, shallow dive kick to bait an anti-air, instant drill to punish it. That's a great st round starter. Because against Kami at the start of the round, it's pretty likely that you respect the threat of dive kick, right? That's definitely an option. Yeah. Yeah, what Effort's talking about here is after you block Fierce, if she reversal drills and you try another button, you'll get clipped. So then it makes you start blocking after you do Fierce, and then Kami can dash in or do something else. That's unfortunate. Dive kick counter hits, he gets jab, jab, overcut after him. Why does he shoot both of them? I don't understand. Nice. Wow, that was in the front. That was fucked up. He did EX orb toss there. That would have comboed, but Visco was a little too far. Ooh, he had the low. He would have killed him if he had confirmed that. What the hell? He might have got him. Damn, damn, damn. Justin does, he's not afraid of the wake up CA. I think that's great. This this was such a great crotch move. Oh, and then run up block. Yeah, Justin has incredible patience. He's probably one of the most, like the players who's okay with doing the least. Walk under, yeah, he's chilling. If you're Justin, you run here, right? Oh, wow, he threw the orb. Oh shit. Justin has a lot of CBT points. He's in top ten. Yeah, that was a great punish. As soon as he loses his pressure here with Fierce, he knows Justin is likely to recall the orb, and while she's doing that, just hit her. All right, punish. I love that choice. That's good. That's good matchup awareness. This is why I think the Korean Kami players are why I think. Infiltration oh. will. Well. Medium punch, reversal CA punish on the medium. You can't ask for much more than that. Her medium is minus six, I think, right? Medium punch, minus six. That was a great punish. That's this is why I think the Korean players won't play uh or sorry, infiltration will not play Kami with Manat. Minus seven at max range. Is it minus seven? I thought it was minus six. Yeah, you might be right about minus seven. Minus eleven is point blank, right? No way, it's minus 11 at range. Yeah, minus Right there, that was pretty far away. But I think she gets the punish no matter what, right? I think Cammy's super is fast enough that it's fine. Fat says minus 6. Damn, he bet it again? Well, that crush counter punish isn't that big. But... Forward roundhouse after to try to check. Uppercut, damn. Nice whiff punish, holy shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can always punish Manat's uh, medium punch with Yuri and Mirror, for instance. There's a lot of things that punish standing medium punch from Manat. Yeah, he was way too far for instant overhead there. There's no reason not to. From this far away, you're not going to instant overhead, right? It's too far. So he doesn't even really have to respect that. He can just duck. Nice anti-air. You needed that one. Yeah, missed dive kick again. You're trying to do those dive kicks a little too tight, and he's he's getting eaten up by uh, doing them a little too early. Nice roundhouse. That's a great anti-air. You have to be kind of early with it. It's not really one I think you do on pure reaction. You have to be waiting for the jump. Raw drill is pretty scary in this matchup. This is a matchup where if you're Kami, I think betting with raw drills and stuff is totally cool. Because the punish that... Oh, that's fucked up. The punish that happens if you... Yeah, I don't think NL wins this round. The punish that happens if they block it is fine. Look at this dive kick. And the fierce lack of her box except for on the body. She's chilling. I think this is a pretty hard win here for NL. Also, if you jump dive kick, Justin will probably super, right? Oh, no. Well, he was in the middle of jab that time. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, eat the throw, activate off V-trigger. Yes. Perfect. Nothing you can do there, right? Activates. Super. If it's blocked, you let release the orbs anyway. So you're chilling. That's pretty hard. That's a pretty hard comeback to make for NL, right? A lot of things have to go right. Yeah, he had like an 80% lead, full meter. Like, he was chilling. <laughs> Jeremy, that emote's great. Would Super not have chipped? Man, it would have been close. I don't know. I, I would have had to go back and look at the life. But it was safe because of the orbs. He, if he had like done EX uppercut or something, maybe. But yeah. Even then, you still have orbs. Nice. That dive kick was really, really well spaced. Yeah. From what I... I don't think it would have chipped. But I'd have to go back and look. My guess is no. But I don't remember the life. That was a beautiful walk on... Walk under, short, nice. The best Manat, it's hard to say. Uh, I think Justin, Sako, and, and Infiltration all have different strengths and weaknesses. So I think their success will depend on who they fight, you know? Backdash, she's airborne, yeah. Anti-air, EX. EX soul throw is a pretty reliable anti-air. Oh my god, did you see how far away he threw that? Look at how far back he walked. He did it the fierce a little too early. Justin, I think, um, I mean, Justin's results against really, really good players are pretty. It's pretty crazy for how whack his V trigger makes up. Oh my God! Twice in a row he tried to get throw baited. Jesus. NL, that sucks for NL because NL's correct. He's just, well, he's spacing it a little wrong. Oh, man. That was a good try from NL. He recognized what happened. He was just a little late, right? Shallow dive kick. Anti-air whiffs. Just a little late on down strong drill. But the punish is not that bad. A throw. That's not the end of the world. Yeah. Two throws. Not the end of the world. I think you're okay with those. Yeah. Cammy's so good about getting it in this matchup. NL is also relentless. The Korean Cammy players are... Yeah, they're relentless. And the speed they play is so fast. That was great drill. Yeah, take the throw. Take the throw. He really wanted the frame trap there. He thought Justin might tech, I think, or hit a button. Jump short. Delayed down strong. EX drill, nice. 
Yeah, he can just fly through the orbs. The orbs are inconsequential to the medium punch there. It means he has to hit fierce more, and when he has to hit fierce more, then it makes it scarier. The, the jumps and the dive kicks become more scary. Got him. What a confirm. Holy shit. Super is scary. You can't dive kick for free. Well, maybe you can. Justin's buffering it now. You got to be real careful here. Cammy can wait this out. She doesn't have to do anything too crazy here. You just have to anti the jump. If you jump. That was a wonderful choice. That was a wonderful choice. Runs away to the corner. Let's her walk up. Instead of eating the throw or whatever, just jump. Do a high EX dive kick to escape, and then you're out of here. Just run for your life. Eat the throw. You'll be fine. There's no time. That was a great choice. He's gonna go into the last round at least with that critical art full. NL match point now, as you just said there, Logan. You know the worst part about this move, crush countering you, is that infill or sorry, infill. Somebody in the chat said infill, and I read it. Uh, Justin gets V trigger bar, right? That's the worst part is that you you give up V trigger bar. I say confirm. I think it was it was easier to do because there was already a whiff. Wow, that was clean. Yeah, he's about to have V trigger, which is the problem for for Cami. With this much bar, it's pretty scary. Nice. Just walks up, takes the throw. That was good spacing. That's the thing about Cami is that sometimes her dive kicks whiff like that. You try to space the EX dive. You try to space all her dive kicks nice and shallow, right? You want them to hit as close as you can to the legs, right? So what happens sometimes is that you just kind of miss, you know, miss the mark. Yeah, he backdash. I think expect, respecting the uppercut. Activates. Combo. That's not too much damage. Yeah, he'll, he'll be chilling. With dive, he has dive kick still, right? So V-Trigger is still pretty scary here. That was a perfect jump back. You know that she wants to spend VT bar. So after after this fierce, you're negative. Justin walks up and then jumps back, right? That forward movement there, I think, baited the, the dive kick. Three frames. I think j jumping with the button at Minot is fine unless you're very far. Because this is probably the only range where you'll see Minot do anti or roundhouse and hit up here, right? It's probably really the only range. Otherwise, if you're like right here when you jump, this is fine. You don't have to worry about the crush counter too much at that range. Unless she doesn't have orb. When she's not holding orb, roundhouse will crush counter you much more. It just depends on, yeah. It just depends on where you are and how far you're jumping from. Damn, double medium punch. That was a good try. I think, I don't know how late that was. Let me look at it again. Uh, he's whiffing jab. Yeah, he thought he was whiffing something bigger. But again, this punish is not huge. So I think he's okay with that. It's not the end of the world. I think it's, and also in this matchup, it's not unlikely for Cammy to build two V-Trigger bars if, if she cancels it early. Although now it's pretty unlikely. Yeah. That sucks. Dive kick. He thought he was going to get the jump back on the roundhouse. But she just tucked in, avoided it. And now this is, I don't know if this happened. Damn, wake up short down V-Skill. What the hell? Why does he punish with a throw? Because her punishes aren't great. I wish he would just do standing short V skills just to take the V the V trigger bar. 
but he's just doing a throw because it's simple and the damage is good. In general, Manat also doesn't have that sucks. In general, Manat also doesn't have big punishes on stuff like drill. Unless she has bar or V trigger, right? That crush counter is horrendous to eat. Look at Justin's V trigger gauge already. Jumping from that far away for a Kami is usually not like most characters don't have something that reaches Kami's jumps from that far away, right? Like normally it's not that bad, but yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, I like the back though. Man, Justin is so... He's so comfortable in this kind of a fight. You can tell NL is antsy to get in. That's that's unfortunate. I like that air there. Oh my god, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I like NL just sacrificing space to respect the orbs. <gasps> okay. Man, that, that dash was the one thing that got him in trouble. There's just no time. Jumpy X dive kick to run away again. Oh, that was a good try. This roundhouse is actually a great try. I love NL running away with the X dive kick. Round, dash forward roundhouse. That was a good try. But, yeah. Mm, delayed down strong. I like the delayed buttons. Justin on defense, I think you can catch with that kind of stuff if you delay just enough. Mm -hmm. Nice combo. Take the damage. He likes that confirm a lot. Yeah, down V skill hits. It's just funny to wake up short down V skill. Lots of people just do wake up short V skill. They're both they're both punishable. It doesn't matter which. If you miss the punish, it's just the timing issue. V skills are the both her V skills um, with orb are very punishable. It's usually just a spacing or a matchup issue if you miss it. That is a hard situation to block in. Yeah, I think he baited the throw. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, he hit confirm the fears. Jump strong. Early strong is such a good button and it hits air to air. This walk under is so hard to see. It's a straight 50 50. That's how the round goes sometimes. That was really well played from NL. He's good at that matchup. He's very good against Minot. I think that's what's forced infiltration away from that character against Kami, right? I think the strong Korean Kami players have sort of done that to that matchup. It says, if he was going to chase a jump back, he had to do it with CA to get enough damage. Yeah, there wasn't enough time on the clock. I don't think Critical Art would have caught there anyway. Roundhouse is probably his furthest reaching best bet. It would have hit if he did a button, like jump back button, like jump back heavy kick or something. But he just empty jump back, so it didn't reach. Yeah, fourth is not bad. Premier event, not bad. It was funny. I saw a bunch of people like, Man, everybody complained about Cami at the last event, but there's only one Cami in this top eight, and then the Cami player made it farther than both of the knots. I was like, happens. Any thoughts on V Trigger 2? I think it's not a bad idea in some matchups. VT2 is not that bad, but I think when you have like expert level orb control, V Trigger 1 just seems like it makes more sense. I think it's better to grind time into learning and controlling the orbs better than to try to learn V Trigger 2, probably.